Hey guys, what's up? It's me back with Fortnite Gaming and Kataria Fables. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the quest line, the Broken Bridge, which spawns Broken Bridge 2, Gathering Materials 1, Gathering Materials 2, and Gathering Materials 3. So you see we start out talking to Commander Hazel. She's going to give us this quest after we deliver the pie from Mrs. Apple. So here she is. You know, currently operating with the Broken Bridge. If we can't fix it soon, send a message to Capital City, blah, blah, blah. This just introduces us to the Broken Bridge quest line. Uh, this actually took me a while to complete. There's a lot of collection in this quest line, and some of it's rather difficult. So we're going to go through it. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far. So I'm going to go over here to the blacksmith, Rufus. And he is going to spawn this Broken Bridge 1, Broken Bridge 2 quest line. Oh, it shouldn't be too difficult as long as you have the materials. Well, they didn't tell me how difficult the materials were to get. Okay, so we're going to bring a note to the guard near the bridge. And uh, you have to excuse me. I put in some transitions here. I don't know what I was thinking. I just basically ran around this map and just going in the wrong direction. So, yeah. Embarrassingly, there we go. But it's, it's up here up towards the top and there's a little sign and you just cross this bridge and it's actually relatively easy to get to I don't know what I was thinking so and here we are downstream river this is not the main area we got some, a lot of rotten onions down here I just froze this one I wasn't in the mood but there's a chest here I'm gonna open it up get some honeycomb that's good that'll come in handy later ah another rotten onion I decided to take him on and let's smash these crates to get some fall things too Ooh, got it. Okay. Ooh. Got it. Alright. Clover and vine. Oh. Alright. Another another one. Finishing them up there. Got a dodge. Ah! Still got hit. Okay. And let's break this crate. And look at that. 15 Paul pennies. Okay, so here we are. Sorry, I had to pause. That's why we got a transition there. Ooh, look here. We're gonna we're gonna fight this flower, main main flower. Ooh. And it does have a rage attack on it. We got him frozen and dodge. So be mindful of that range attack because it is pretty powerful and it's, it's pretty nasty. It's, it'll take you out before you know it. I, I keep low health in this game and I'll know why. Okay, oh. There we go. He's going to drop a towel over there, but my inventory's full. So let me just go ahead and drop some of the Yeah, going to do it without this clover. Okay, there we go. And on to the area which is going to be where the broken bridge is. River Bridge is what the area is called. So I'm going to talk to this uh, soldier Robin here. So he is going to spawn our materials. He says we need stone, iron stone, clay, and hard shells. No need to rush. Yeah, no, there's no rushing about this. So this is going to spawn Gathering Materials 1, guys. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so this first quest here, Gathering Materials 1, is actually the easiest part of this. You just have to collect 20 stone, and it's here at your farm. So get out your pickaxe and just start hitting up this, these stones here. They uh, shine whichever ones you can pick up, and usually they drop more than one, except for these smaller ones, you're just going to get like a lot of those. So here we go. Yep. Not too bad. Like I said, these bigger ones yield a lot more stone. And uh, you may already have some in your inventory. I know I did. Not very many. Uh, it wasn't enough to complete the quest, but I had some already, so... Uh, we just need to collect this stone for the bridge repairs. And once we collect enough stone, we're going to be moving on to the next part of the quest. So, just make sure that you get plenty of it. Uh, we got 14, so only a few more to go. But I don't have any more. Oh, there's some. But it's probably not going to drop six. It's probably just going to drop a few. Three. Yeah, three. So, what do we do? Uh, we do what we always do in Kataria Fables. We can check and see if I've got any. I ha oh, I'd have just enough. I've got just enough. But what you could have also done is you could have just went out of the area and went back in, and there would have been more stone to collect. All right. So, let's go turn in this stone. 
All right, guys, I saved you my perilous journey. I'm just going to take you straight to River Bridge so we can get this quest turned in, and he's going to give us gathering materials, too, after we turn this one in. He's going to make us get some iron stones from the orcs, but it is located in the orc camp, and they are difficult to come by. So we did have to do a little bit of prep work, and there's a quest that we can get along the way that will also help us. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through that. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so I just collected enough supplies, uh, 10 log, 10 toad stool, and 2,000 paw pennies here to, co to collect the wooden armor from Rufus here in the fortress. And the reason I did that is because 40 hit points is really not enough. You're going to need at least 80 health points to, uh, to get these orcs here in the orc camp. So I went ahead and I got this armor. And also the cool part about this is it is the first piece of armor, so once we get it, we are going to pop the achievement, extra protection. We all know, use protection. It will uh, pop it. It's craft a piece of armor. So if this is your first piece of armor, you will pop this achievement. Now, there's just one more thing left to do before we actually head to the orc camp. And uh, we're going to pick up a quest here at Paul Village. So let's travel there. Welcome back. Welcome back to Paul Village. So here we are going to collect a quick quest that will help us while we're in the orc camp that we need to just go ahead and get. So without further ado, I'm going to head that direction. So I think we're going to get this first from the village chief. Sitting here right at the fountain. We're going to get that from Chief Oliver. He's going to want us to try to convince Aaron to stay out of the forest. Which is very important right now because of all those roaming bad monsters around. Especially for the little one, you know. So, here we go. Let's go over. This is the quest Worried Grandfather. We're going to go to Erin. We're going to talk to her. She's on a secret mission. So, she wants to go where the orcs live. But they're so scary. And they are very scary. <laughs> uh, you know, I've never encountered any orcs. But I'd imagine that I'd be scared to death if I did. She wants us to pick some blueberries. And you can only get blueberries from outside of the orc camp. Which is terribly, terribly inconvenient. So we are going to go pick those blueberries for Erin so she can stay out of trouble. This is Start the Quest Perfect Gift. Alright, now we can actually finally head toward the orc camp. Let's go. Alright, so let's travel to Bye River Field because that is the way to get to the orc camp, which is where we are headed. You can see we'll go on these bridges here and it is the upper part trying to avoid these forest bees. I'm not trying to get into a fight right now, but it's just right up above, just north of the Bay River Field. So that is where we're headed, and here we are. Forest Plantation is actually the name of where we're going, but the Orc Camp is here in the Forest Plantation. So let's pick some blueberries for Aaron while we're here. Oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Orc Gunner, Orc Gunner. Ah, he's got a gun! Okay, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Okay, so let's take care of the orc here first. Dodge. Slice some dice. Good old fireball. Oh, keep getting hit by these guys. I'm terrible at dodging. It was awful at it. Alright. Okay, orc gunner down. And look at that. Just calling out iron stone. So, yeah. We're going to be here multiple, multiple times. So, I got one blueberry, and I'm going to need three. So let's, let's get some health points back. Uh, let's Okay, so we are going to head up into the orc camp. Oh, let's look for some blueberries. Okay, yeah, there's a blueberry right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, also, this pathway does lead to the forest sanctuary. We're going to need to know that for the next quest. So let's, yeah, yeah, two out of three blueberries. So there's, there's no more blueberries up here. I just went ahead and checked. It's, of course, not going to be that easy. Uh, we're going to have to make our way up through the orc camp to collect the blueberries. So uh, let's head up into the orc camp and let's let's see what kind of damage we can do here. See how much iron stone we can collect. I present to you my orc busting montage.
we interrupt this montage to bring you the third blueberry that Aaron wanted us to collect. Look at that. So we just completed the perfect gift and now, that's right, more orc busting. Wow, that was pretty awesome, right? That was Radio Kataria. No, just kidding. I hope you guys enjoyed that orc busting montage as much as I did. Let's get this quest turned in. Uh, next up is Clay. We're going to have to go to the Forest Sanctuary, and we're going to have to deface some golems. So heads up, the golems are very powerful. They have very high health, and they hit very hard. So I would suggest to prepare ahead of time. I went ahead and I upgraded my sword. So I spent a lot of time doing that. So I'm going to get back to you guys uh, whenever we can actually go start fighting some golems, okay? Alright guys, so here I am going to upgrade my sword. I'm going to get the long sword. It requires the beginner sword, 15 orc tokens, 5 iron stones, and 2,000 paw pennies. But it's absolutely necessary because you are going to need it for these golems, guys. Um, also, while you're here, I'm going to go ahead and turn in these quests for the blueberry. So here I am back in Paw Village 2. I'm going to go ahead and turn in these this blueberry quest. So I go to Aaron and uh, she's going to be super happy about it, but i got to keep it a secret from Grampy. Well, I, I, I did not keep it a secret from Grampy. I did not understand the assignment. I totally told Chief Oliver here. Um, yeah, so a birthday present for this old Billy. Yeah, I'm not sure what the other, uh, other conversation would have been, but that does complete that quest, and you do get some paw pennies out of that, and that will come in handy. Alright guys, so the best part about this is we can fast travel to the Forest Sanctuary since it is a checkpoint location. So let's just go there and we are ready. We got our longsword, we got our wooden armor, and we are ready to take on these golems. Now, uh, let's be prepared because they are rather difficult. You're going to want to go ahead and take these guys out first um, because they can poison you, they can slow your movements down, and they can continually hurt you over time. So let's go ahead and let's get them out of the way. Oh, there's quite a few of them hanging up on there. Freeze one. Ooh, okay. Wow. All right. Let's dodge, dodge, dodge. Here we go. Fireball. And you can collect sacks from these guys, and that'll come in handy later, too, for uh, crafting and everything. I just went up here. Let's see what was up here. And that's a portal, so let's not go there. Um, let's go find these golems. Ooh, it's a chest. Clay. Oh, all right. Well, that gave us a little bit of a head start, right? Not bad. So let's head on up. Oh, we got more of these tree things here. I missed. I can't believe that just happened. Okay, here we go. Oh, dodge. Okay. Yep. Oh. Okay. I I've got to be reminded a little bit my spells are on I just don't even pay attention. Okay, more sat. Let's break these crates. Nope, let's not break these crates. Let's go ahead and get this guy. And we missed. Great. Okay. So this is our first golem. Here it goes. Let's see how it goes. There we go. There's a fireball that didn't miss. All right. 
So you can see they have a lot of health, and if another forest golem gets near them, they will heal each other. So uh, just keep that in mind. You've got to be doing a lot of damage fast to them, and it's even better if you can go ahead and, and freeze uh, the other one. So let's go ahead and see three out of ten. Okay. And then uh, another fireball misses. Great. We are really fine. Okay. Yep. Just more hits. More hits on these guys. Um, I'll tell you what, let's speed up this process a little bit until we get the team card. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed another metal montage there. That was called Gollum Busting. So let's turn this quest in and let's get the last part of it without further ado. We're going to need hard shells from bugs and we're going to find them in the swamp. So uh, we don't have to do any special preparation for this. Let's go ahead and head to the freshwater swamp and collect some hard shells. Alright guys, so here we are back to the forest sanctuary. I was just going to show you the way to get to this freshwater swamp so we can get this last bit of items under wraps. So I'm just going to not aggro any of these guys and just run through here. It is to the left of the forest sanctuary there, well to the west rather. Alright, so keep heading that direction. Uh, these forest golems won't be drawn to you, they're not naturally aggressive. It's just the little venom tree guys you got to worry about. And here we are. So, um, to collect these hard shells here, this is actually East Freshwater Swamp, uh, we're going to be traveling to West Freshwater Swamp as well just to collect the rest of them. It's these guys right here. I'm going to do a little fireball. And you know the rest. I think it's time for another montage. This is Bug Busting Montage.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the last montage of this video. Let's go ahead and get this quest turned in. We got our hard shells. Now we just got to go talk to Rufus. We've gathered all of our supplies. It's time to build this bridge. So the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to have to cross through, of course, this little area here before we get to the fortress downstream river. Let's go. I'm just going to ignore these guys. I don't want to, you know, I just want to get this quest done and over with. Uh, so what we're going to do, go to the fortress here. Okay. And here we are. We're going to go talk to that big bear Rufus, the blacksmith. He's the guy we got the wooden armor from earlier. Oh, hi, Commander. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's you. Yeah, we have finished the preparations. Look at that. Popped an achievement. Dutiful soldier. Repaired the broken bridge. Congratulations, guys. And we obtained a skill. Phantom thrust. So we're going to equip that. But for now, guys, we have completed the uh, bridge quest. And we have completed the gathering material quest. It's been a pleasure. I'm so glad that you guys were in this walkthrough. Now, for more Kataria Fables and for other games, I want you guys to like and subscribe. So I, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.